Have you ever wondered why the majestic tiger, a symbol of strength and courage, sometimes turns into a man-eater? It's a perplexing and somewhat unsettling question, isn't it? Tigers by nature are solitary and territorial creatures, typically avoiding human contact. Yet there have been instances where this powerful predator has strayed from its natural behavior. Let's delve into the annals of history. The early 1900s saw a reign of terror by the infamous Champawat tiger in Nepal and India. It wasn't just hunting for survival but had seemingly developed a taste for human flesh. Then there were the Savo man-eaters in the late 1800s, a pair of maneless male lions in Kenya, known for their unusual predilection for human prey. What could have triggered such behavior? Was it desperation, illness, or a simple aberration in their instinct? As we trace back in history, we see that human-tiger conflicts aren't new, but have always been part of our shared story. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the narrative of man-eating tigers persists. We've seen this in recent incidents like those in the hauntingly beautiful mangroves of the Sundarbans and the verdant hills of the Nilgiris. These places echo with tales of terror, where tigers have shifted from being the hunters of the wild to the hunters of humankind. So why this change? It boils down to the loss of their natural habitat and an increase in human-tiger interactions. As we encroach upon their territories, these majestic creatures are left with dwindling spaces to roam freely. Consequently, they are forced into closer contact with humans, leading to unfortunate encounters. Moreover, the depletion of their natural prey due to overhunting and habitat destruction leaves them with little choice but to turn towards easier, albeit dangerous, prey, us. In the face of modern challenges, the line between man and beast blurs, leading to tragic encounters. As we stand on the brink of another decade, what does the future hold for human-tiger relations? The recent tiger incidents have painted a vivid, albeit grim picture of this intricate relationship. Just last year we saw three fatal encounters in India alone, marking a disconcerting uptick in these tragic incidents. Yet, there's more to this story than meets the eye. As we encroach upon tiger habitats, these majestic beasts are left with little choice but to defend their territory. Conservation efforts are making strides to rectify this, focusing on preserving these natural habitats and educating communities about cohabitation. Innovations in technology like tracking devices and early warning systems are also offering promising solutions to mitigate future attacks. But it's a delicate dance between man and beast, each step echoing in the halls of our shared history. While the future is uncertain, one thing is clear. Our actions today will shape the tiger tales of tomorrow. So what have we learned from our journey through time and tiger attacks? Well, it's clear that tiger attacks, while rare, have occurred throughout history, from the ancient times to the present day. These majestic beasts, though often seen as symbols of strength and power, can also be the harbingers of fear and danger when they come into conflict with humans. We've discovered that the main reasons behind these attacks often boil down to territorial disputes and increasingly human encroachment on their natural habitats. This intrusion not only brings us into closer contact with these formidable predators, but also puts them under stress, leading to more frequent and deadly encounters. As we move forward it's crucial to remember that these are wild animals, not villains. The key to mitigating future attacks lies in understanding their behavior, respecting their boundaries, and conserving their habitats. As we coexist with these magnificent creatures, understanding their behavior and respecting their space is paramount. After all, every tiger attack is a stark reminder of the thin boundary between our world and theirs.